Academia Seneca President Wang Qihui has come under attack for endorsing OBI Pharma after a blind clinical trial of the publicly listed biotech company failed. The attacks were stepped up after it was learned that Wong's daughter is a major shareholder in the company. And KMT lawmakers contend Wong was guilty of a conflict of interest. And earlier this evening, Wong issued an apology from the U.S. for commenting on OBI Pharma, saying he was sorry for neglecting to consider the expectations people had of him as Academia Seneca president. At the end of February, OBI Pharma announced that clinical trials of its new breast cancer drug had failed to reach clinical significance. But Academia Seneca president Wong Qihui still endorsed the company's product. The vast majority of patients, more than 80 percent, showed effective immune system responses. From a vaccine perspective, that's a very exciting development. It was reported Wednesday that Wong's daughter owns three million shares in OBI Pharma, raising potential conflict of interest questions. Taipei City Councilor Zhong Xiaoping filed a complaint with the Control Yuan, asking that Wong be impeached for violating public servant conflict of interest laws. But there is no evidence that the Wongs were involved in insider trading, as has been alleged. <laughs> In the period before and after Wong Qihui commented on the blind trial results, it does not appear that his daughter's holdings changed. So I don't think there was any insider trading. But for someone with his influence to say what he said, he could have affected the judgment of regular investors. The most likely violation would be for spreading rumors with the intent to influence trading prices under the Securities and Exchange Act. Wong, who is currently in the United States, said he would explain the situation, including to the legislature, after he returns home next week.